Hey, going to do an unboxing of the limited edition Dark Knight Rises Cowl Edition. Um, and also going to take a look at the uh, Dark Knight Rises exclusive uh, steelbook. Coming up! <music> hey guys, so I said I would do a uh, unboxing of the limited edition uh, Cowl Edition, Bat Cowl Edition of Dark Knight Rises Blu-ray. Uh, once I got it in the mail uh, from Amazon.com, it's pretty cool. So as soon as I heard about it, of course, I'm into like all the collectible, movie collectible stuff. So I was on that uh, Amazon pre-order button pretty quick. Uh, but since I live in Canada, uh, it took they don't make them in Canada. They only make them in the States. So it took a few days to get here, but it just got here today. Um, so by now, you probably want me just to shut up and uh, open the box. So let's take a look uh, inside the box. So right on the front, uh, there you get the nice... Um, Get the nice kind of like Batman logo, which is pretty sweet. So there's that. So it comes with like this plastic, um, clear plastic case, and it's pretty cool in the front. Uh, it's got like a sticker which shows you which number you got out of the uh, 35,000 actually uh, that were made. So this one's number 7,757, whatever. Um, Pretty neat. So let's take a look inside. If we can pop the top here, uh, it's got some artwork on the sides, some artwork on the back, and there's Bane on the other side here. So it looks like there. This is about the size um, of a Blu-ray case, like if you were to stand it up like this. So just for scale, just for scale, it's about the size of a Blu-ray case, uh, width and uh, height-wise. That's what that looks like, just to give you a better, closer kind of view of it. Uh, so the discs, just in the back here, this just pop out like that. They're inside this plastic disc thing. So let's uh, open this up. So uh, inside, of course, right on the front, you have the, uh, I don't know, you have the DVD of the movie. I don't really know what you would do with a DVD. Maybe use it as like a coaster or something like that. Um, then you have, of course, like the Blu-ray, which is what we all came here for. And underneath that, uh, there's the special uh, there's the special features disc. So if you're into kind of like collectible uh, movie collectible stuff, um, would I recommend it? Um, maybe. I mean, it's not too expensive. Um, to be honest, I feel that. Uh, this disc thing here, um, I think that's kind of cheap. Uh, I would have liked it kind of in like a small tray or something like that, which would have been nice, especially since the discs are kind of stacked on top of each other. And um, I don't really like the idea of that just because of scratching or whatnot. But uh, all in all, uh, I think it's really cool. I'm going to enjoy setting this up um, on my TV stand in the background there. And uh, also, I wanted to talk about I saw this uh, the other day when the movie came out at Future Shop and I had to get it. Um, this is the uh, Steelbook limited edition, um, exclusive to Future Shop apparently, a uh, Steelbook of the movie. Uh, I'm a big fan of Steelbooks. I love Steelbooks. I collect. I collect them for uh, some some of my favorite movies. The artwork on the front of the Steelbook is just awesome. I love it. Uh, so I just had to run out and get that. And of course, um, if you get the Steelbook, take a look inside. So of course that's where the Blu-ray would be right now. I took it out so that, um, well, just gonna be honest, it's in my Blu-ray player right now. But uh, in the background you see Bane walking away from the broken cowl there, and then you have of course the um, special features desk, and in the background there the uh, DVD that uh, you're probably not gonna watch 
if you bought this because you have a Blu-ray player, obviously. I've never done an unboxing before. This is our first one, but when I got the uh, Cowell edition in the mail, I just knew I had to uh, do an unboxing video of it. Um, just for those of you who uh, want to check out what it's like and see if it's worth the money. Um, this is what you get. Plastic is pretty hollow, but it's kind of what you would expect. I mean, for like 30 bucks or whatever you're paying for it, you can't really expect it to be like, I don't know, steel or metal or something like that. But um, So check out our other videos and our reviews, and uh, thanks for watching.